I get those goosebumps every time I need the hymn Throw that to the side, yo I get those goosebumps every time, yeah Greetings technicians, this is Admin Crow here, your coach of the Toronto Star Raptors, bringing you the battle for another week in the PCL, the Pokemon Champions League, and this is week 10 I believe, and I'm taking on my good friend Lofi, so in case you guys didn't know, uh, or watch the team builder, so this week, uh, me and Lofi decide to have some fun, uh, I, uh, or I guess the Raptors uh, already guaranteed clinch playoffs, and uh, my friend Lofi, on, this he uh, on the other hand, he's guaranteed out of the playoffs. So we decided to have some fun and just bring some memes. So uh, what we did this week is uh, we picked, we told what the other person, uh, that what we're gonna bring, uh, specifically three months. So the other person will, basically we cross build for each other, but only half of our team. And then in the end, we pass the set to the other person and uh, we are allowed to change the EVs and the items and uh, up to one move on that Pokemon. So yeah, this thing's gonna be uh, th th this is gonna be a little bit interesting this week for sure. And I decided to uh, do a live con as well, um, which is something I never done before. So hopefully this uh, battle uh, don't end up being too long. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, I did bring some heat this week as well, or I guess more of a fun set um, Even for the mods that I'm bringing, so basically uh, uh, Lo-Fi the Trevenant is coming for the first time against Lo-Fi of course um, uh, So Trevenant, uh, Tyranitar and Heligo were built by Lo-Fi and I did change up uh, one move on Tyranitar and Trevenant uh, Nihelago I decided to go with uh, what I had before um, and uh, Charlotte, uh, the uh, Galventula, Wintel Jr., the Gligar, and uh, Genesis, the Volcarona with the three that I brought. Uh, so initially, uh, initially I was going to bring Klefki against him, right? Uh, but uh, I sort of told him pre-game that I won't bring a Rock Resist, just so to make him <laughs> keep uh, roll out. Yes, you heard it right. Roll out on Clefable. <laughs> I gave him a uh, Belly Drum uh, Clefable and... Uh, a, f a special cloister and a special Gyarados, uh, and his Gyarados is not even regular; it's his Mega. So <laughs> that's it's gonna be a little bit interesting. I wonder how he changed up my sets. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started. So looking at his team here, right? He has two potential styles for well, three if he if you count Clef, but I don't think he's gonna give a, give Clef South Rock uh, based on the sets I gave him, which is a Belly Drum a Belly Drum set. Um, so his potential rocker are probably uh, Nidoking or uh, Rhydon. He actually brought both of his ground types, uh, so my electric type is not going to be able to do anything. Uh, anything. I didn't bring energy ball <laughs> on Galventula either because I forgot <laughs> he had a Rhydon. I wasn't taking the prep too seriously. I actually spent uh, more effort on uh, prepping his mons than my own mons. So it's going to be uh, a little bit interesting for sure. So I'm just going to straight up lead with my uh, Trevenant here. Uh, predicting I thought I did a right on lead, uh, which he does lead with. Um, is this gonna be a special right on <laughs> or like a weakness policy? Uh, what if I tell you I have no <laughs> would have? <laughs> yeah, so he basically knows uh, pretty much the entirety of my set except for one move. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for uh, Toxic right here because the wood, uh, wood Hammer is too obvious. Um, he doesn't really have a switching for Toxic. Um, and um, I didn't really uh, bring Hazard Control this week uh, because uh, my only Hazard Control is a uh, Scarf Gligar. Yes, a Scarf Gligar. <laughs> so, so sorry if you guys are getting spoiled uh, left and right uh, if you guys haven't watched the Team Builder. But yes, I'm bringing a Scarf Gligar this week. Oh, Metal Burst! What is this? <laughs> Go for it again! <laughs> no, I, I didn't actually get rid of Wood Hammer. But good thing I didn't go for it. Um, good thing I have Toxic. I forgot what he... Oh yeah, he had a Phantom Force uh, for the fourth move. Initially, he gave me Rest. Wood Hammer, Phantom Force, and Leaf Seed, and this is Harvest uh, Longberry. Um, I'm just gonna go for Leaf Seed right here. 
Stealth Rock. Rocks. <laughs> That's no fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, I might actually have to click a uh, Scarf Defog with my... Uh, with my... With my... Uh, wait, he's so slow. <laughs> oh, I guess he made it slow for a, for a metal burst. Um. <laughs> Mind games. <laughs> I told him I didn't have a wood hammer, but uh, I end up keeping it. Um, so he might have ice beam here, but uh, since we're bringing memes, he could also be rivalry. <laughs> Cause um, he technically knows all the genders of my mods. <laughs> Cause I put it up on, on my uh, tracking sheet on Google. I'm yeah on Google. Man, is he gonna go for? <laughs> is he gonna go for Ice Beam here? I mean, I don't have a switch in to this anyways, right? What am I? I'm physically defensive. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> go Tita, eat it up. Ice Beam. Ice Punch, okay, okay, I can respect that. Okay, Physical Nidoking. Technically, uh, Nidoking does have a better uh, physical defense than... Uh, sorry, physical attack than it does for special. Um, interesting, interesting. Uh, interesting. I would go for hard. Uh, I would go hard Volcarona right here uh, if he didn't have rocks up, and uh, I don't feel comfortable going Gliscor obviously because the potential Ice Punch. Um, I don't think he's gonna go for Ice Punch again, uh, so I'm actually gonna go hard Gliscor he uh, Gligar here. Oh, substitute! Interesting! Wow! <laughs> I made a play. <laughs> Oh wow, so my initial thought was uh, there was no way he goes for Ice Punch again. Uh, he might go for his dual staff, which which I guess um, may, uh, which I guess uh, uh, are one immune by Gligar, which would be the ground move, or the uh, poison move, which is resisted by Gligar as well. So I can just uh, proceed to uh, take the hit and uh, fire off a big EQ. Um, to knock him out, but the fact that he got for a substitute, a substitute right there totally messed up my plan. Uh, I probably, I'm pretty much have to, forced to U-turn out right here, um, and I am hyper, uh, hyper cutter as well because I'm scarf. <laughs> uh, oh man, this is gonna be tough. Does it break? It doesn't even break. I'm so weak. <laughs> oh wow. Um, so he's he might go for the ice move, <laughs> but. Uh, Damn, I really don't have switch-ins! Uh, let's see. Both of these special attackers are water type, so Assault Vest Titar is not gonna be able to do anything. Yes, I'm a special Titar too. Um, he might go for Ice Punch again, but I need something to break this up. I think the most expendable mod on my team would be. Would be Trevenant? Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> um, I had to sack Trevenant right there. Can you burn behind South? What does that even mean? <laughs> um. Oh, Flame Body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think I'm playing body? Well, actually, he might be faster than me because I'm bulky, uh, Volcarona. Um, what I initially was thinking is I can go Volcarona and just, uh, and just be able to, uh, pop him through the sub with my bug buzz, but, uh, the fact that he has rocks up is not helping really. So I might have to go into Gligar and U-turn again and hope that I break his stuff and uh, be able to defog away 
the rocks after. Um, does he not have a ground move? Why would he go for sub right there? I don't understand. Oh, I guess he was predicting my switch out with Titar. Uh, this is tough because uh, I don't actually have a physical defender on my team aside, aside from uh, Trevenant, which which gone down already. I didn't really get to use my set either. Um, damn, <laughs> I handicap my, myself too much. Uh, I think I will try to. I will try to go into my Gligar here and just go for another U turn. This should break the sub. Two U turns should break the sub. I think I'm adding a max attack as well. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Focusing. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is this? Well, at least I know that um, I'll be taking a huge focus punch to the face with something. Um, I don't know if I can take it very well with uh, Charlotte. But this is pretty much my only option, right? Okay. Oof! <laughs> Wait, it was Life Orb? Oh yeah, it was Life Orb! Oh, I was like, how did he, how did he die? I saw, sorry, the graphics sort of glitched out right here, but um, he basically went for a focus punch <laughs> and died to, he, to his own recoil. <laughs> Eat it up. Focus punch is not sheer force. That's actually funny. Um, so had I stayed in and gone for like EQ or something, he would have been able to lock, knock himself anyways despite the fact that he was behind a sub. So yeah, this is good. I still have my Gligar to uh, get rid of the uh, rocks later with Defog. He doesn't know that I'm uh, choice still. I like, uh, I like how I'm like mono earthquake with Gligar and he has like two fine types. <laughs> the only thing I can uh, hit... Oh shit, this thing is focused. <laughs> This is Focus Ash uh, Overcoat. I don't know if he end up changing anything. Um, but if he does Shell Smash right here, um, I will be <laughs> I'll be in quite a bit of trouble. <laughs> I think I lose. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it an uh, overcoat so, uh, with Focus Ash, that's why he's actually not going to be um, taking damage from the Sandstorm. And the fact that he's... Uh, like, there's basically nothing I can do to prevent him from going for a Shell Smash right here unless I get a Thunder Para. So... Yeah, and um, let me think. If he goes for Shell Smash right here, I might be able to eat one with Titar because I'm a Soul Vest. No, I have to bank on a. I basically have to bank on a uh, Hydro Pump Miss or a Thunder Para to win the game, <laughs> or else I just get swept by uh, this thing. <laughs> Um, I mean, I mean, he very well could have swapped uh, Hydro Pump for Scald. If he does have Scald, though, I might be able to live one with Hitar. So there's that. <laughs> oh God, I should have set up screens earlier. Uh, the fact that I have no rocks really hinders my team too. Um, so I'm pretty much just have to go for Thunder right here. Ooh, Para, please, Para. No Para. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention our choice back too. That was like totally overkill. Um, I have no, I have no, uh, which one call it? I have no. Uh, I 
I have no... Um, a priority on my team, so <laughs> that was the other thing. I probably should have thought about it when I made, <laughs> when I made a set. Um, but his best move to hit me with will be Hydro Farm. Uh, he might miss. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, now I have to hope my <laughs> Nihiligo to uh, either A, dodge a Hydro Farm, or B, <laughs> live this. Uh, Live this uh, ice beam. <laughs> I mean, I should live the ice beam. It's just a hydro pump. Oh, I lived! <laughs> so this is actually funny. I actually got a. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. So this Nihelico set was given to me by Lofi. Um, uh, I what I end up doing was I actually gave myself a little bit more um, special. Oh, I see. <laughs> I actually have one more special defense than I do special attack. I, I wanted to get a uh, special attack boost. That's why I end up giving. Uh, this thing more special attack EVs than uh, what Lofi initially gave me, but <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't realize that my special defense was one higher than my special attack. You will see in battle video <laughs> when I upload. <laughs> He's asking why I didn't give it a special defense boost. This is actually hilarious. Um, so it's not over yet, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I pretty much lost half of my team. Uh, the reason I got into Tita first was uh, to set up the sand for Nihiligo, obviously. So I can potentially live one, um, which I do. That's good. I have worked at 6 0. Um, and this thing is incredibly bulky <laughs> on the special side because I made it a. Uh, I made it a. Uh... Wait, do I live? Do I live a Scald? I might live a Scald. I'm plus one spadef, and this is in the sand. Um, let me think. So I have to win with. Uh, I have to win with. Well, Corona. In order to do that, I have to go for Scarf Defog. Um, this, this the set I gave Lofi was uh, Scott <laughs> Scott Hurricane Rest Sleep Talk. I don't even think I can break it um, with any of my mons. So I'm just gonna go straight for the... I don't even know what to go for actually. Should I just go for damage on this? Or should I go for uh, light screen? Actually, actually, I'll go for light screen. Because I know that he's special, right? Please don't tell, <laughs> Please tell me you're special. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, I actually did zero to did five! <laughs> so it's screens plus Spadef boost plus <laughs> in the sand. <laughs> the, so the fact that I mistakenly got a Spadef boost was huge. <laughs> oh wow. So that means I can go for another set of screens or just uh, go for damage on this. Um, but uh, unless I have enough turns to go for... So from that damage, I know that I can live another one even if he goes for Scald. Um, unless I get Scald burned, which will suck. Um, I'll, go, I'll just go for damage on this, I think. I, oh man, that was a crit too. It did zero. Okay, okay. I think this is the turn where I set up another another set of uh, screen. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> is, is it time? Is it time to go? Well, I don't live rocks. The thing is, 
So if I switch it out, it can only be act as a sack. If he, I don't even know. If I go high hard Gligar here, I don't know if I live the scald um, through screens after rocks damage. Uh, I think I'll just go for damage and wait for him to knock me out. Uh, yep, that is zero, dude. <laughs> yeah, he actually got scald as well. Okay, okay, time for that. <laughs> time for that defog real quick. Scarf debug real quick to get rid of my own screens. Nah, uh, I think I might have to go hard, uh, hard Volcarona right here. Wait. Hmm. This is actually this is actually a tough call. So I don't have. Uh, Pretty sure I'm just gonna go for defog until he knocked me out because the fact that he's poisoned. Uh, this is actually stalling out my own screens. I don't really need the light screen. Uh, I need the uh, reflect more. So this is fine. Um, I might uh, go hard Volcarona at some point. Um, maybe one more turn. So let me think. I won't have both the. I won't have both the screen. I won't be able to go get rid of the screen and be able to keep away rocks at this point. So if I go for another defog here, right, he's gonna be able to get up rocks as he goes down, and he will be able to get a switch initiative. Um, he doesn't know that I'm scarfed yet, uh, but the only thing I can hit with my set, uh, obviously I won't be able to beat the Gyarados, um, but my Volcarona can do it. Uh, but my Volcarona also has nothing to touch the Dragonite with. Uh, <laughs> I pretty much lose the Dragonite at this point, so no matter how hard I try. Um, so I pretty much have to go hard Volcarona and take uh, advantage of one turn off screen here. Um, I might be able to get rid of the rocks at a later time, um, but I doubt it. So. Okay, <laughs> I swear he's he's probably gonna have water Z, uh, water Z, as well over here. Yeah, I pretty much, <laughs> I pretty much lose to to this. <laughs> um, I only brought Z Fear and Z like a very standable Corona because I actually never got out Fear and Z in the, uh, in the entire season <laughs> with Volcarona and. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think this is another one of those games where I won't be able to get rid of the, um, where I won't be able to go for Fear and Z. So, I think I should be able to, uh, I mean, he can just safely go for Dragon Dance right here, right? So, damn it, this is actually a really tough call. It depends on the set. Yeah, he's right. But I have to break his. Uh, I'm naturally faster, but I think he should have enough speed to outspeed me, uh, no matter what he goes for. I think I have to quiver dance here to ensure that I outspeed and be able to lose off the damage after. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Yeah, he's naturally faster too, so this is pretty bad. <laughs> he can pretty safely just blow me away now, with uh, with any move he wants to go for. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for bug bus. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> Fly too? <laughs> um, I should have roosted there. <laughs> Damn it! Um, yeah, I don't think I have a switch, and he's gonna be able to knock me out with his uh, Dragonite, no matter what. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I'll just roost in case it's... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there's no way I live that. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll just go for knockoff. <laughs> and me! <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, uh, I didn't really prep for Dragonite, uh, be because uh, we're just trying to... <laughs> Mimela, <laughs> dude. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, he was trying to stop because he didn't even realize I was scarfed. Wait, how did <laughs> did I miss? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't even realize <laughs> I missed over there uh, because he flew. I thought he was like um, what you might call it. Uh, he has leftovers. Anyways, um, I thought he was uh, Z Crystal or something because I didn't see an item getting knocked off. But that that was just me not be able to break his stuff. <laughs> So yeah, GG to level 5, uh, we really had the game, uh, ha had fun this game, too bad I really didn't get a chance to see uh, Betty Drum uh, Clef put in the work. <laughs> um, if I brought Clef Key though, which is something I thought about bringing, again, <laughs> I told him that I wasn't going to be bring a rock resist, uh, and Clef Key happens to be that rock resist, so GG to level 5, uh, and uh, also good luck to him to uh, good luck to him next season as well. Um, uh, hope he makes uh, playoffs next time around and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy the game this is gonna be it from me this week uh, it's gonna be admin crow here signing off see you guys next time goodbye technicians <laughs>